Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello my friends, my name is Kendra from For Hamza And today I get to tell you a story about Ramadan in Canada Let's get started Canada, what is Canada? Canada is a part of American Union Also, um, it's near the North Pole Wow, that's very cool um, Canada have Islam too, right? Islam in Canada is a top two re- religion, but its top one is Christian. Okay, you know Canada is near the North Pole. There's the North Pole, the North Pole area. So when winter, the night is longer than the day. When summer, the day is longer than the night. Okay, when we fasting in Canada when summer, that is a very long time than Indonesia. Okay, talking about Indonesia, feels like Canada and Indonesia is very different. Like street food. You know street food means? Street food is almost like a mini store or a mini market and street food. That's why it's called street food. In Canada, don't have a street food at all. Okay, now is the time. Um, in Indonesia, first we iftar or like that, iftar, then pray, then we go to sleep and wake up and maybe 4 o'clock or something like that and suffer or eat our first meal of the day. In Canada, this very short time. In Canada, first we iftar, then we pray, maybe like that. Then we wait for five hours sitting and setting the table for the first meal of the day, or we call it so. Then, the most important thing, azan. In Indonesia, we can hear azan everywhere, even far away, even far away. But in Canada, sometimes we can't, we can't um, hear it because, you know, the top one is, Christian, that that means it's not um, a lot of mosque. That means we can't hear any azan because sometimes they have mosque, sometimes they're not. I still don't get it why they pray. Okay, that's a very cool mistake. Now the temperature. Um, in Canada, it's in summer. Canada and Indonesia is the same temperature, 33 degrees. In the night, it's very cool difference. In Indonesia, sometimes cold, sometimes hot because Indonesia is in the tropical place. But when Canada is near North Pole, when it's nighttime, oh, totally cold. Just imagine when you sleep like um with an AC. Um, in Canada, it's real very cold. Man. It's very cold. That's why you need you not in the AC because of hard. Now, donate. Everyone now in Ramadan is donate to poor people around the country. Why do they donate food? Well, let me explain. Um, in Canada and Indonesia, I like to donate food, not just for, not just for eating, but for iftar. You know what iftar means? What I say for this all time? Yep, that's correct. Iftar is like a break the fast. Then you eat some food and get excited. We donate food for if for iftar for uh, poor people around the country. Then, the moral of the story is, we have um, to we have to thankful to Allah because um, we can fast in, in Indonesia because it's not longer than Canada. Also, we have to very thankful to Allah because we can um, fasting together with family in Indonesia. Okay, that's what I knew from the YouTube and the internet. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.